Hello, my name's Monique, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are subscribed, welcome back. I got a weekly reading vlog for y'all uh, from March 8th through March 14th of what I read in that week and what I'm currently reading this week. This is what I finished. I finished four books. I'm proud of myself. Um, let me show you what they are. Dead House Gates. This is book book number two uh, in the. This is book number two in the Malazan Book of the Falling series. Uh, I finished this uh, two days ago. Uh, and I gave it, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I gave it a five star. But don't quote me on that. Hello. Um, but, um, I gave this a five stars. I will admit, I was confused on, through the book. I had to go back and reread some sentences, and it was, it was, it was a wild ride. Um, but I'm still confused on the ending. Um, but, um, I'm hoping that book three, um, let me see what book three is. Um, I don't in this one. No, it's not in this one. Um, book three, M Memories of Ice. That's the one we're picking up. Um, we'll be picking that one up next month. Um, in um, April, April to May or June. I'm not sure, but um, I gave this a five star. I shouldn't have. I should have gave it a 3.5 because uh, I was so confused on it so I might go back and change it on my Goodreads. Um, I was really confused on this world. Um, but um, like I said, I hope that book three, uh, Memories of Ice, it, it tells me a lot more what's going on in the world. I know it's about a war. Um, it's about several different characters and um, Malazan is the Empire. But I'm hoping I get more out of it because I love epic fantasy. I love adult fantasy, hands down. But I'm hoping I get more out of it when I go deeper into the series. But I'm going to go to my good reason change and put it for a three point, uh, maybe a three star on this one. I know the first book, um, uh, Gardens of the Moon, I gave a five star because I really enjoyed that one. But this one, it was it was a little bit difficult for me to get through. It took me two weeks to get through this. No, a month and a half to get through this because I finished this two days ago. Uh, but it took me a month and a half to get through to understand everything and go back and reread some sentences and stuff. But um, I love the writing style from Steve Ecker. I hope I said his name right. Um, he does good one. I, I just don't like the massive paperback. Uh, I can't afford the, the ones that I see that are so beautiful and bigger. And I, I can't afford $40 a pop on each book. I can't afford that to save my life. So I went for the paperback on all of them. I got up to all six books, but I have to get the other four, which I probably won't buy. I'll just read them on my Kindle, because I got all ten of them. So, uh, we'll see. But, um, Arkans the Seer. Um, I don't have a favorite character yet. I know you should have by book two, but I don't have one. Um, hopefully in book three I'll have one by then. Um, I'm trying to understand this world and, and go on it, uh, but 
Uh, I don't see the hype yet. So hopefully in book three, I will. Um, this is the one I read, but I'm going to go back and change it to three stars. So, we'll see how book three goes in April. The next one I finish. Robin, uh, Robin Hoff. Hoff. Ship of Magic. This is book number four in the uh, the sh the uh, Live Ship Traders trilogy, book one. I've not read book one, two, and three of this um, Live Ship trilogy. This is the first Robin Hoff book that I have read, and I gave this a five stars. I enjoy absolutely, absolutely enjoyed this book, and I love her writing. I just don't like the massive paperback but I love her writing it was phenomenal um, I did a book review on this so if you want to know more about it be on the lookout for it because it's coming up real soon the next one I finished A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J Mass this is the novella in the um, Avatar series um, I already finished book one A Court of Sorn, uh, blah, 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 blah. A Court of uh, Thorns and Roses. I finished book two, which is A Court of Mist and Fury, which was my favorite. And I finished book three, which is A Court of Wings and Ruin. And I just finished A Court of Frost and Starlight, which is the novella. So that's the fourth book. Uh, I'm going to be on the fifth book, which is A Court of Silver Flames which you will find out about in this video. Uh, but I finished the novella, so this will be my fourth book. I'm going to do a vlog on it and put it all together, so be the lookout for it. Um, but I did a book review on this as well, so be the lookout for all that. The next one I finished, Gilligan Flynn, Dark Places. I gave this a five stars on my Goodreads. Fantastic. I, um, if you like, um, uh, dark, I mean completely dark, this is the book to get. It is, it's fantastic. They say, uh, um, Sharp Objects was her first book published, so I've not read that. So, this is her second one. And her third one was Gone Girl. So, I got Gone Girls and I got Dark Place, which I've already read. I've not read sh uh, Sharp Objects. So, when I get that book, I'm just going to reread all three of them. And just give you my full, full on all three of them. So, be the lookout on that very soon. But, um, I gave this a five stars. I really enjoyed it. Fantastic. Y'all should pick it up. You will not be disappointed. Her writing style is so beautiful. And it's phenomenal. I loved every bit of it. I didn't want it to end. And I thought it could have been a little bit longer. Um, I thought that... Um, I thought 349 pages was too short. But I really, really enjoyed it. But, um, I would give this a five stars. It's that good, guys. I would recommend this to anybody that has not read Gilligan Finn's books. Uh, so far, I think she's only got three. Uh, The Sharp Object, which I've not read. The Dark Place, and then uh, Gone Girls. And I love both of them. I gave them both five stars. I will read Sharp Objects when I get it. But, um... I love this. Fantastic. Them's the books that I've read. Show you again. This is what I've read for the week of March 8th through March 14th. Now what I'm currently reading. I'm reading three books. 
and let me show you on my phone. Okay, I started this last night. Um, I don't know if y'all can see that. Armar um, and the Knight Brothers by B.B. Aston, I think is his name. And I got it on my Libby. And I'm on Chapter 6. And I'm really enjoying it. It was recommended to me by Mel, um, uh, Christine, Kristen, and uh, Jazz. 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 I can't remember her name. I hope I said it right. Jazz is what I call her. Um, them four recommended me this book, and I'm really enjoying it. And I'm on chapter six, and I'm going to pick it up today and get some more reading done on it. This is what I'm reading so far. So far, it's looking like a 5 out of 5 stars. But I don't know till the end. So we'll find out soon enough. And y'all will get a book review on this full book review. So be the lookout for it. The next two books that I've started. First one, a Ra The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. Um, this is his first book in the, um, uh, what do they call it? Um, I think it's the Burning something. Burning. The Burning. This is the first book in The Burning. Um, I'm buddy reading this with um, Curly Top. Um, we're doing a buddy read. We're reading 50 pages a day. Uh, I just got to the 50 page mark um, on it, which is, but no chapters, so. But I made it to the 50 page mark. And I'm going to read 50 more pages today. But we're reading 50 pages a day. Until we get it finished. And I can't wait to talk to her about this. Because I heard this was a fantastic book. And I will be doing a full book review on this. So be the lookout for it. The next one I started. A Court of Silver, and Silver Flame by Sarah J. Mass. This is the, if you count the novella, it's the fifth book. But if you don't count it, it's book number four in the uh, Avatar series. Um, right now I am on page chapter 38, page 395, and I'm, I'm enjoying this. This is fantastic. Uh, there's a lot going on. Nessa, Faye, and Ren are my favorite. And Lucian. I love all four of those. I, I can't pick between them because they're my favorite. I just don't like the parts where they pick on Nessa. That really pisses me off. Um, but um, a lot's done went down. And apparently Faye is pregnant. And I didn't know it. By Ren. And now Ren's trying to hook up with Nessa but that's all I know right now uh, I'll find out more when I read today but I started this on the 8th of um, March 
and this is the 15th I think I think it's the 15th no today's the 17th uh, so I've, I've got this much red that much red is what I got red right there and this is what I got left and I'm excited I will be doing a reread on this in the future because I'm really enjoying this series uh, but I got a lot on my plate right now to read still and still adding to it so but um, this is fantastic I'm really enjoying this book this might be my second favorite in the series but we'll see uh, I love the cover it's so beautiful and here's the map I really enjoyed this fantastic and Sarah J Mass has got beautiful beautiful writing I uh, it's phenomenal I enjoy every bit of it um, but this might be my favorite in the series too but be the lookout for the book review because it's coming out soon I'm enjoying this Those are the books that I've read from March 8th to March 14th, and the books I'm currently reading from March 8th through March 17th, which is today. Um, I'm really enjoying all my books. Um, I can't wait to see what happens next, and I will keep y'all up to date on that. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you... Um, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that bell button uh, to be notified every time op I upload a content. And um, uh, hit that uh, subscribe button if you don't want to miss anything that I upload. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see y'all in my next one. And happy reading. Bye.